Hey G.I. Joe fans, it's Derek here, and I'm going to, I guess, empty out this crate of stuff I bought from OfferUp, off of OfferUp, um, from a nice guy, um, definitely uh, definitely a nice guy, one of the nicer people I've met from OfferUp, so that's always cool. Don't really know what's in it from the pictures, I can tell. It looks like 87, 86 heavy a little bit of 88 stuff um, there's supposedly a base complete um, so we'll just go through it and see what there is see if um, I got a good deal I got hosed whatever uh, we'll, we'll find out uh, no matter what like I said it's 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 always kinda cool to take a chance on these things and see what you got if there's any parts in here that you guys need to complete um, your sets your stuff let me know Drop a comment, or if you follow me on Twitter, hit me up on Twitter, and um, we'll see about getting these over to you. But um, I'll just stop running my mouth and show you some toys that uh, are in here. So, all right, first thing is we got the Conquest X30. Um, so landing gear here. Yeah, I'd seen better days, but looks like with a couple wheels, this will be working again. Two fuel tanks. Um, the back part, which is pretty commonly broken on these, um, actually appears to be in good shape. Um, all the stuff's dusty, but I mean it's been in a garage, so what do you expect, right? We got the uh, rocket boosters here. Looks like they're intact, which is good. I'll need to take all this stuff apart to clean it. But the concern is here in Arizona, if you are putting stuff in the garage, uh, it gets hot here, obviously. I'm not breaking any news, but um, the plastic becomes even more brittle than it would normally. It just <clears throat> dries out really, really quick. So the uh, co cockpit uh, slot right there is cracked, broken. It did actually come with... I dropped it. Okay, it was sitting right there, just dropped it. But it did come with the cockpit top. Um, I'll probably uh, need to buff this out, but it's intact. So that's uh, that's good. So first thing was the, uh, the Conquest. The rear landing gear is good. Um, all the uh, missile pegs are still intact. So that's good too. That's good too. Overall, it's, um, it's in good shape. Obviously, this panel a little bent, but um, overall, yeah, I'd say it's in good shape. Definitely salvageable. So I'll put this aside now and move on to the next piece. So there are pieces of the base. I'm just going to get to those last. All right, we've got the uh, Dreadnought cycle. All right, this looks, looks pretty good. Uh, it does have a broken foot peg. But the wheels are on, seats on, guns are here. Uh, Alright, this is broken here in the front. But, you know, again, this stuff is 30 plus years old. So that'll be good. I'll actually be able to utilize this for some diorama stuff. Um, and I'm sure the kids are going to want to get a hold of this. That's another nice thing too, is that some of the stuff is broken, it's not really a big deal. My kids are going to end up playing with a lot of it anyway. Um, so, yeah, it's fine. I, again, I knew going in it was taking a chance and, and whatnot, so I'm not really that concerned about stuff being broken and whatnot. So here we've got a Persuader. A Persuader. Alright, that's on there. This like that should clip in there but it's not sitting so this might be missing a peg or it just might be father time messing with it but here is the persuader all the wheels and everything are in place as they should be um, obviously it'll need a bath but that's fine uh, toe hook broken off foot pegs are still there um, it is missing a couple things here from what I remember I don't remember specifically but this is in pretty good shape so I will happily clean this up and 
Yeah, I'll probably use this for display, or maybe I'll let the kids have at this one too. So, yeah, Persuader. Um, all right, Skyhawk. All right, this one has seen some better days. Uh, it's missing the the bottom of it. Um, okay, this this pops off. So yeah, the clips are missing on these. The holes are still there. So that's fine. The gun is still there. It's got the tail wings. So yeah, this one would need some work or some love or again, like with the kids, they don't care. They'll just fly this thing around like this. Um, and they don't have a Skyhawk yet, so I could probably epoxy the the peg holes to keep this from snapping off every time it opens. But I think this one will probably be a good use for the kids. Yeah. All right. What's next? I should probably hurry this up because there's a lot in here. Armadillo. All right. We got an armadillo. Let me fix my set here. Come crashing down. So we got an armadillo. This looks like it's in good shape. No obvious issues aside from this part cracked right there. Foot pegs still going strong. Still rolls nice and smooth. So, all right, got on a, a vintage armadillo now, 1985. Oh, top. Ah, okay. All right, so might need a little bit of uh, love in here, in the turret area, but not too bad. Yeah, this should should be able to repair that one pretty easily. So we got an armadillo. And, all right, yes, a devil fish, or as my daughter calls it, the double fish. So, okay, it's got the bottom missiles. Um, top missiles aren't there. Uh, foot pegs are, are broken off. Still has the hoses, which is good. Uh, might need a bath, but other than that, it's in decent working order. This is my uh, kid's favorite toy. They absolutely love the devilfish. Um, have two already, so this will be a nice third. Um, yeah, no, that's, that's not too bad, obviously. Well, again, these are 30 plus years old. They're all going to need to be cleaned up and and whatnot, so I'm not really stressing about uh, the attention it'll need to you know, bring these back to a, a nicer shine or luster. So we got a devilfish. Alright, next one. There is a Cobra Imp. Yeah, Seems a little wobbly. What do we got here? Okay, got a, looks like it's okay. Yeah, okay, so Cobra Imp. I don't remember specifically what's supposed to be here and what's not supposed to be here on it. So, on this one, I'll be honest, I'm not sure what's missing. But it looks like it rolls. It looks like it's got the treads. Um, it's got one of the guns here. Foot pegs are all there. Toe hitch is still there. So that's cool. I'll take that. I'll put the side here and run out of room on the floor. Um, uh, okay, this is a Sea Ray. And this one is, is pretty rough. We got a broken wing. Mr. Mister. Um, a broken slot here for the uh, rotating gun. Um, it looks like there's more pieces to it in here. Right underneath. So a couple broken clips on the bottom. It does have that. I, this was actually one of my favorites when I was a kid. I loved this thing. I loved how it would break off into several others. It was great for being shot down because you could crash it and then have it break apart into all those pieces. Right. It's making some rough noises there. Yeah, there's some broken clips and stuff, but um, yeah, I would always have it break into all the different pieces and stuff, and that was fun. But yeah, this one, I do not know. Again, these clips are broken off on the top there, so I don't think it's going to stay anymore. I might have to figure out a new way to use it. 
Um, or just continue dismantling it and customize it into something else. Again, worst case scenario, the kids can play with this. They are not picky. Um, Hydra Sled. Yes, Cobra Hydra Sled. I do not remember what is supposed to be here. I do remember what it looks like, but I don't remember what's supposed to be here. So from what's here, looks okay. Obviously, I'm sure there's more to it. And I don't know if it's in the bottom yet, maybe. But it did come with a Cobra Hydra Sled in the, uh, in the group, in the lot. Cool. Okay, Snowcat. Yeah, so, alright, Snowcat is missing some stuff. This uh, windshield is, I don't know if I would say it's toast yet, but it is getting, it is getting there. A broken clip right here for one of the treads. That's replaceable. The toe hitch is still there. Um, okay, this one's, the slot's empty. Foot pegs are there. So it's missing the uh, missile launcher. Missing the snow pedos. So this stuff is pretty cosmetic though. I, I, there's nothing that I would say is unfixable for this. I could get two treads to replace these. I could get another missile launcher. I could get snow pedos and probably even find another um, canopy. And um, because the shell is in good shape. So I do like that. Yeah. Good. I uh, had a snow kid, or snow kid. I had a snow cat when I was a kid. And um, yeah, no, it was, uh, you know, when I was playing with this when I was real young, I was in Canada. So a lot of the adventures that I had were in the snow. And a lot of the snow joes even has the panel here still. This is commonly uh, missing from these things. Yeah, a lot of my adventures were with the snow joes. Snow job, frostbite. Um, yeah, they were regulars. And then as it went on, Sub Zero was one of my favorites. Even Blizzard, Blizzard was another one of my favorites. Iceberg. Um, so yeah, this is good. I'm actually really excited about this one. I'd say I'm probably the most excited about this one so far. Oh, okay. There is there is another devilfish, bringing me up to four now total. So this one has the gun here. I believe the other one didn't. Yes, the other one didn't have it. Uh, foot pegs are broken off on this one too. This one does not have the missiles on the bottom. And it's missing the hoses in the back here. Um, but again, these are, these are fun. These are ones the kids are going to love. And having four of these for when we go to the pool, that'll be awesome. So a fourth devil fish I have in total, second one in there. Uh, all right, this is, if I remember, this is a bomb disposal unit. All right, it's missing the little forklift thingy or plow part. It looks like a snow plow. I, the name's escaping me right now as to what that's specifically called. That's cool. It's be nice to have. It's nice to have these types of things to have on like your base dioramas where you just have kind of small uh, small things laying around the base. Utility looking vehicles. So this will fit in nice for that. Um, there's little pieces to the base here. I'll get to that last. Alright, so... This is a small part of the asp. This is missing a lot of pieces. Um, yeah, this one will probably... No, definitely this one will be uh, for the kids. I think it's missing quite a bit. Might not really make a lot of sense to try and restore this one. So, uh, yeah, I'll clean this up, give it to the kids, and again, they'll they'll find use for it. Um, I've never owned uh, an asp before. I have not, so... Um, man, hopefully there's more pieces to it in there. If not, that's fine, but uh, it's kind of cool. I just I love the color. Even 
in its 30 plus year state and dustiness. I really love the color on this. I think this is going to make me want to go down and, and hunt for uh, a uh, completed asp. I like it. I like it for sure. Um, okay, this is a, kind of a mortar launcher. I don't know if you can see it. I really don't know what this goes to, I'll be honest. I'm not sure. I don't see any markings on it. Uh, some kind of accessory pack, maybe. If you know, let me know in the comments. Would love to uh, love to know what this is. Oh, okay. All right. So here's the little plow shovel disposal unit front. So this goes to that bomb disposal unit I was showing you. All right. Another piece to it. Nice. Um, and all right. So. I've got the um, parts to the snowcat here, but they both look broken. So it's nice that they're there. I guess I could glue them on, but I don't think I want to do that if that one can be fixed. Um, I just use these for some type of background scenery, but yeah, so they're there, but they are the clips are broken on them, so they won't they won't be going back. Onto the snowcat. Um, I don't know what this is. It looks like it's part of the Battle Force 2000 set. I don't really know a ton about Battle Force 2000, I'll be honest. 1987. Um, yeah, I don't know. If you know what this is, let me know. Looks like some kind of a towing vehicle. See if I can slide the camera down just a little bit and give you a, a peek at this bad boy. Yeah, don't know, don't really don't know much about this one. If you know, let me know. All right. Um, okay. Speaking of the I don't know category, uh, this this is kind of neat looking. Got some broken clips right there. Um, this looks like this pops off. Actually, looks like a lot of this is all right. So this comes off. Uh, this looks like it all opens up into something. And yeah, I don't know. I don't even think I've seen this one before. All right, so it opens up on that side. It looks like there's a satellite dish in here. Some kind of a communications relay. I'm a little hesitant about being too forceful on opening these things because I don't really want them to break. But, alright, so it's a satellite dish on the top. I like this. I, I don't really know what it is. I mean, I, I guess I could figure out what it is because it has a satellite dish, so it appears to be some kind of a communications hub, but I don't know much about it. If you know, please let me know in the comments so I can figure out if there's other pieces to it or if there's other ways to make this thing go. But um, I like it. I really like this. There's another piece here too. I'm not sure what's supposed to be there. So, cool. Now that one's going to look good being towed. Maybe a vamp or something. Damp or all striker, whatever I want to go with. Just slide this over here. Okay, so we've got some more pieces to stuff. It's the um, tail fin on the Sea Ray, um, a ladder, which does not look like GI Joe at all. You know, it does look like it looks like that um, Robin Hood Prince of Thieves toy set. I had that as a kid. That's what this looks like. Or, oh, um, the Hook toys from the movie Hook. This looks like a ladder from there. That's kind of cool. Um, let's see. Mattel 81. Huh. Okay, so this has to be He-Man then. Mattel 81. 
Yeah, it's probably a He-Man ladder then. Again, if you know, uh, post it in the comments. But this, it totally looks like what I remember clipping on to the side of some kind of a vehicle for Hook or for uh, Robin Hood. But, um, yeah, no, it says Mattel 81. So I'm pretty sure Mattel's big thing in 81 was He-Man. 81, 82. Right, yeah, hey, yeah, ladder. Sweet. Um, so we've got some random missiles pieces. Let's see if I can just bring those up for you guys to see. pieces to the devil fish here so there's a target I assume based on the color this goes with the asp use the forward facing uh, gun cannon whatever for the devil fish there's two missiles that go to the devil fish this goes to the sea ray this goes to I'm guessing I'm guessing the imp no maybe no not the right color. There's no uh, hook on here or slot to peg in. So these are probably then the missiles that would go to the snowcat on the inside, maybe. Not sure. Yeah, not totally sure on that one. There is another missile here for the conquest. Oh, okay. Another snow vehicle. Snow job. Nice. Let's see. If it's... I've been wanting to get one of these. Needs a little bit of love, but it's actually in good shape. A broken clip there. Not really a big deal. But, um, no, this would be good. I'm cool with this one. Always for uh, snow vehicles. All right, and everything else here belongs to the base. So let's move this stuff out of the way. So we got the front of the base. Uh, looks like it's a little warped from time. All right. But apart from that, it's in good shape. Have a, uh, a little ramp portion. I'm probably not going to be able to set the, set it up completely on the camera, so I'll just show you piece by piece. This is the um, workshop that has the cover for it. I'm pretty sure I saw when I was digging the stuff out of here just now. So let's just assume that that's there still. Yeah. Sorry about the noise. I'm sure that probably radiates pretty loudly on the on the camera. So yeah, got that piece. And this is what I was talking to some people on Twitter about. I actually wanted a second headquarters with the sole intention of turning this into a med bay. I wanted to have like the doctor station here, and then this would be a med bay section. Because um, I, I know they're not really, you know, fun for combat, but I do think that, um, you know, Doc and Lifeline and whoever is going to be working on the patients, and it's cool to have give them something to work with in terms of like you know displaying purposes and stuff so um, I'll probably fix this up a little bit and make it look a little more like a like a med bay 
but yeah, which means I'll leave the, the obviously the jail doors off, which it did come with. And um, I, you know what? I didn't see the computer terminal. Here. All right, I'll have to check to see if it came with the computer terminal. Um, I don't see chairs either, so that's a bummer. No chairs. All right. Okay. Well, I can figure out something for that. But it does have the um, this part here, and in addition, it looks like the clips are all here intact. So that's good. And all right, front of the base clips are all intact, which is good because the base I currently have, this one has, or it has broken some broken clips. This one does not. So that's good. Um, all right, the cover for the weapons depot. Here's those uh, jail cell pieces. And then the side pieces to the base itself, which is, again, no broken clips. And this is good. Especially because, it, again, the base that I have has a lot of those broken clips. Um, okay, little panel part here. This one does have a broken clip. It's really common these clips are broken, so I'm really not uh, mad if they are broken. The main cannon gun laser destroyer for the base. It's here intact. Stickers look good. Probably should have done that. There's nothing to hold it in the front. It's going to just fall forward. Okay, this doesn't belong to the base, but I just noticed this. I don't know what this goes to, but it's got G.I. Joe sized foot pegs, so probably something that was in there, or again, if you know, let me know. I'll figure out where that goes, find a home for it. Another front piece for the base. This one has two of the broken clips. Um, that's okay, I think the one I have right now is, uh, is in good shape, so that's not really a big deal. The other lift. Um, all the pegs on these look good, too. So does it lift? Yes, it does. It lifts. Perfect. Uh, plastic's a little warped on that. Uh, okay, there's a crack in it, too. Yeah. All right. But, uh, a working lift, nonetheless. And a helipad. So, all in all, that's uh, that's it. That's everything that was in there, which I got for eighty bucks total. Um, yeah, I'm I'm good with that. Uh, probably, I'd say the overall value of this is probably a little short of the eighty, but that's okay. Um, I'll get some fun out of it. If I was just a you know a, a, a dealer per se, then yeah, I probably would have paid too much. But the kids are going to play with a lot of this stuff and have fun. So I wasn't really looking for an investment on this. I was actually looking for some good stuff that the kids could use that I wouldn't have to pay too much for. Um, and then maybe getting some parts that I could use. Getting another base was a big deal. Um, I really did want to put this one next to the, the other base that I have and make a med bay and see what I could do about making what I like to call mega base. So, um, yeah, you know what, that's all for now. I'm going to start cleaning this stuff up and getting to work on finding some of the pieces, some new homes, and um, maybe finishing up some of these things. Again, the snowcat, uh, I'm circling back to that one. I'm pretty excited about restoring that one to um, some form of glory. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Um, if you have any comments, want to help me on figuring out some of these pieces, leave them. You can follow me on Twitter, at Duke45Toys. And, yeah, that's all for now. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good one.